one in 10 children worldwide. 63 million girls and 97 million boys. 218 million children under five are employed. 2.78 million work-related deaths. Child labor first arose during the Industrial Revolution. American photographer Lewis Hine was essential in publicizing this issue, taking photographs of the children and slums they lived in and formed federal regulations on workplace conditions. Although there has been progress, child labor continues to exist around the world. A carefree childhood is replaced with a demanding job that puts a child's life at risk. Oftentimes, financial problems and hardships force children to search for alternative methods to provide for their family. Lack of parental support, increasing demands for low prices and cheap labor, and mounting financial pressures are just a few of the causes that push children to find jobs in factories. Many of the large companies that millions of people shop at today play a crucial role in continuing child labor. Clothing stores such as Forever 21, Shein, and Romwe are letting this plague fester and rot our country's roots. And other well-known brands such as Zara and Urban Outfitters are also taking profits through the advantage of children. Although clothing brands are not the only companies who take advantage of this, some companies such as Nestle, Hershey's, and even Mars, who, who tend to make our favorite childhood treats such as M&Ms or Starbursts, they take advantage as well. And yes, the most ironic of them all, Disney, has been tied to factories who employ children. I guess the happiest place has its own downfall. But why are children so sought after in these so-called sweatshops if they are so unskilled compared to their adult counterparts? Well, that's exactly why. A child's small frame grants them a natural sense of agility that gives them the ability to fit into smaller places. Their small bodies allow more of them to be packed into a factory. Additionally, factory owners typically give children methodical tasks that do not require any prior skill. The desire and desperate need for any source of income, as little as it may be, motivates children to accept these dangerous jobs with little resistance. The negative impact on the emotional and physical health of millions of children is unlike anything else. Child laborers may develop long-term health issues as a result of starvation, chemical exposure, maltreatment, injuries, tiredness, and psychological trauma. It is also true that children who work do not always receive a sufficient education. Long, intense work days can fatigue children, leaving them unable to attend lessons or do homework. For parents who are trying to make ends meet, sending their children to school is a luxury they cannot afford. Children in the industrial industry may be exposed to poisonous chemicals, perform repeated work in unpleasant postures, and be injured by sharp instruments. Children who work in domestic service face maltreatment, work long hours, and are frequently isolated from their relatives and friends. The first step in ending child labor is educating yourself about child labor and where it's found. In doing so, not only will you be aware of this issue, but you would, you can also share what you learned about this to those around you to eliminate any misinformation about child labor. Additionally, you can also avoid going to these stores that promote child labor or employ ch children for their own benefit. Also, you can um, donate to nonprofits and NGOs such as the Global March who are working to end this problem. And as a school and a community, we can write emails and letters to these companies to ask them to consider employing children for their own benefit. This issue isn't going to be resolved overnight. Reform must be implemented progressively and continuously. It is especially terrible to force children to work in factories and put their lives in danger at any age when they should be leading a worry-free and carefree life. 
Lewis Hine, should he have known of the child labor conditions today, would be appalled by the lack of progression achieved so many decades after his fight to bring awareness and an end to child labor. With the multitudes of moral product and service substitutions, why do we still continue to endlessly consume products manufactured by underpaid, ill-treated children and rely on their labor? Do your research. Find small businesses or lesser-known companies that can trace their products back to moral means of production. You can help improve the lives of these children and their families by simply withholding your support from these exploitative companies, which in turn promotes businesses with better pay and working conditions to at the very least give these kids better opportunities. So what part will you play in ending child labor? Will you be one of the millions who stand by as our future generations are put into dangerous situations daily, deprived of their normal childhood, have lasting memories of their psychological trauma? Or will you try and make the change that we are in desperate need of?